feel like um, getting playing time early really slowing it down, slowing everything down for me. So that um, that helps me out there on the field. Um, and uh, once everything slows down for you, you know, you can just be yourself, you know, play your game. Uh, Jim? Christian, what was it like, I guess, getting your first interception and what did you end up doing with the ball? It, 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 was, uh, it was great, you know, to get it early. I, uh, it took me a few games, you know, uh, a few games into the season in college, you know, just to get my first one. So just to get it early, you know, get that off my uh, shoulder, you know, it felt great. You know, I feel like once I got my first one, I feel like they're going to keep coming, you know, which obviously, you know, you got to work for them. And uh, I mean, they tried to come take it from me on the sideline, but I was like, man, I need this. That's a, you know, they uh, they came and got it from me on the sideline, put it in my locker. So, so you keep it yourself, you give it to anybody, or and what do you end up doing with it? Um. So far, I think I'm keeping it, keep it to myself. Um, uh, put it in a uh, probably a box, you know, and you know, keep that thing to myself. Uh, uh, Teron? Yeah, Christian. Now that you finally gotten time on the field with some of your teammates, your, you know, the veteran cornerbacks, what are some of the things that you've been able to gather uh, just as far as the communication is throughout the game and also afterwards? Uh, that's just the main thing, you know, that we emphasize as a defensive back group, just to make sure we're all on the same page, that we, we know where our help at and uh, what we can do differently, you know, just to get an uh, offense, you know, different looks. And um, that's another thing, you know, just with, with coming, that comes with, you know, just being comfortable out there, you know. Once you're comfortable and uh, the game slows down for slows down for you know, you can uh, do a lot of pre-snap, uh, get through a lot of pre-snap information with the guys and not just feel so rushed, you know, just worrying about your job. And then you're going to get a chance to get a flashback from the LSU practice days. Uh, what, what do you think about getting able to uh, go against Justin Jefferson this week? Uh, it's going to be real fun. It's going to be really fun. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, I know he's a great, great player. He's a great competitor. And um, I just got to come with my A game because, uh, like, like, like everybody else saw, you know, we know what he can do. So, uh, you know, I just got to do my job and make sure that uh, we limit him to a uh, good amount. A little amount of success. Success. Uh, John. Hey, Christian, I was going to ask you. I know you played uh, some of the snaps at uh, at slot uh, um, in both games, and I don't think you did a whole lot of that. And later in your career at LSU, I wonder what that what that's been like uh, getting back at that position a bit, and and uh, you know what the difference is between there and and on the outside for you. Yeah, it, it's been good to, you know, to get back in there. But like, like I said, um, it's just so much going on in the slot. You know, you have to worry about your run fits, uh, pre-snap motion. Then you have to worry about your guy if you're a man and things. So it's just a lot of thoughts going on. It was a lot of thoughts going on at first, you know, uh, dealing with in camp, you know, not being uh, able to uh, get the preseason reps or, you know, in the summer or uh, OTA and things like that. So that's all it was for me, you know, just having a, having the game come to me, you know, letting it slow down for me. Um, I think it's big, you know, even though we didn't get the, um, the preseason games, I feel like being in there um, in the game, you know, with the two games that we did have, I feel like that's helped me a lot tremendously because I can see where my my mistakes are, where my mistakes are and where I, I did good at. So, um, I mean, I'm picking up onto it, you know, really good. So I think that's what's been best for me. And, uh, the difference between outside and inside, like I said, just you know, making sure, you know, you got a lot to do, have a lot of pre-snap fits, you know, you got to talk to the safeties, you got to talk to the corners, and even the D-line sometimes. Thank you. Uh, Terry? Christian, what are some of the things that you did to kind of stay up to speed as much as possible while you were rehabbing the injury during camp and couldn't practice? Uh, credit to the coaches, uh, you know, we had, they, they had me come in early, and um, we uh, got a lot of, um, Walk through reps and you know um, early in the morning, you know, with some of the coaches, you know, going through uh, pre-snap reads, making the checks and things like that. So not only just uh, staying on top of my health, but making sure that my um, I was on on every, on point with the calls and um, making sure that I knew what I was doing and what everybody else was doing. So just a lot of uh, early morning, you know, uh, pre walkthroughs helped me. Uh, Eric. Eric, are you there? Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, hey, Christian, I, I know you've only been around Jonathan Joseph for 
a few months now, but what have you been able to learn from him and, you know, just take from a guy who's been in the league as long as he has? Uh, really, he just been, you know, preaching to me about the little things, um, you know, just communication, making sure I'm on that, and, uh, giving me a lot of pre, pre-snap reads, you know, that's that's helpful. As a defensive back, you know, just um, looking at pre-alignments, you know, uh, studying film. I mean, we pretty much talk about everything, you know, that we need to know as far as a de- defensive back, because, like, been in 15 years, so he, he pretty much seen everything. So uh, just picking his brain, you know, and um, I think the emphasis with me and him has been um, the pre-snap communication because, you know, as a young guy at nickel, you, you are basically, you're setting the whole defense. So everybody has to know where I'm at and things like that. And just if we're working together as corner and nickel, things like that, you know, he's been on me about that. Uh, Kayla? Hey Christian, um, I know that this year is a little weird for you, and you're coming off of a of a college season, which was obviously remarkable, and it, including just the atmosphere every single game day, no matter if you were on the road or at home. I would guess this has been very weird for you, having experienced an at game at home and away. Um, is it is it completely different from what you were thinking? And I would guess that you're going to be excited just for the small amount of fans that will be eventually um, let in at some of these stadiums. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, it's been, it's, it's definitely been weird, you know, going out there. Uh, joke, we were joking, you know, before the last home game, it was like, I felt like we were, uh, when we were coming out for uh, introduction, I felt like we were warming up, like practicing a, a game or something like that. We just had our game uniform. So that's, that was, uh, that was pretty funny to me, but like, for me, when, I, when I'm out there, you know, I, I tune everything out, you know, I'm just locked in on what I got to do. So, like, the fans are definitely, you know, a huge portion. But as far as my game, I try to, like, block out all the noise when I'm out there, you know, and just focus on what I got to do. But, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to having the fans out there come next week. All right. That was all the questions. Appreciate your time. Oh, I had one. Oh, sorry, Bokey. Missed you. Come on. Uh, Christian, t- talking about Jefferson, there's so many of you guys from that LSU team got drafted. How how much pride do you guys take as a group in, in what you accomplished and, and how much are you keeping up with him?